Couldn't afford it. <laughs> <laughs> OK, it's Backstreet Boy time now. He was one-fifth of one of America's biggest grossing, yes, best-looking and most successful bands ever. Now trading the boards over here in the hit musical, and oh, what a musical it is, Chicago, please welcome the gorgeous Kevin Richardson. Kevin Richardson. <laughs> We don't I hate people teeth. who look like him. <laughs> <laughs> Very dapper, Chucky, Honestly, you are. Really. Look at that profile. Honestly, you're like a, a 30s movie star, isn't he? Oh, you do. You Rudolph much. Valentino. Oh, wow. Lives. Thank you. Wow. You Lives are, again in you. We can see your movie career starting from here. They're all watching. Yeah? Don't know why you're Hollywood about tunes about in, we know that. Now, you're starring in Chicago, that fantastic wonderful perfect musical i've never seen yes. it in the west end at the you, adelphi you've never is seen it any good of course, never yeah. seen it no. no never seen it <laughs> tell us about billy flynn who you're playing um slick smooth talking fast talking a turn yeah hey you're you perfect can... for this yeah i can see it we I have try. a little bit of a sneaky peek of you in rehearsals well you're sounding blooming good yeah? quite frankly uh -oh. let's have a look there we go I've never seen myself in this, so this is the first time. What did you I, think? Uh, it's all right. Well, what's he got to say? He's got to say, I was sensational. <laughs> no, but you might say, oh, I can't, because sometimes you don't like watching yourself yeah, back. Yeah, I don't really, no. yeah. And we've got your wife, your beautiful wife here in the audience. Welcome as well. Yes, yes. Thank you. Nice to see you. Are you. You obviously go to see him in the show. Is he good? Are you proud of him? Is he? 85 times. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's lovely. You quite like him in the part, then. Yeah. yeah. Now, you, you, um, you were in Broadway mm -hmm. in this originally playing Billy Flynn. What was it like being on Broadway? A dream come true. Has An amazing opportunity that I jumped at the chance. Did and your pop career, was that what it was all about? Did you always really want to be just an old hoofer and an actor on stage? Is that what you wanted? Was it all leading up to that? I started out uh, doing musical theater in high school and community theater and stuff like that while I was playing in bands and singing and stuff. So as long as I'm on up on stage performing, I don't care. So is that what you think for yourself as a performer, first and foremost? Yeah, okay. an entertainer, performer, and is it, do you actor, come from a, an entertaining family? I mean, are they boring? I mean, no. um, <laughs> at Christmas time or whenever we have family gathering, it's, a, it's like a talent show. We're all a bunch of hams. We all sing and try to make each other laugh. And yeah. yeah. Your family's like that, aren't they? Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, Hanukkah. Yeah. And now, tell, <laughs> tell me about um, uh, Disneyland. was quite a momentous place for you. Absolutely. In many ways. Tell us. Uh, well, I worked there uh, for about three years. I met my wife there um, 11 years ago, almost 12 years ago. Um, I was... What was she doing there? She was, uh, she was playing in the the show Beauty and the Beast. She was a dancer there. Okay, and what were you doing? And I was uh, I was Aladdin, I was uh, Sebastian the Crab, I was a Ninja Turtle. Ninja Turtle. I was Tigger, I was Sweetums, <laughs> I was the Beast, I did a little bit of everything. I was Talk a about an guy. all around entertainer. Yeah, and then you, you also met other people at uh, Disney, didn't you as well? Didn't you meet all the guys? Somebody said that. Mm -hmm. Ah, that street boys? I mean, I met them in Orlando. I was from Kentucky, and I moved to Orlando when I was 18. Worked there for three years, and then I met the guys in 1993. So they were all Orlando boys. I mean, you hang around the street corners and sing together. Um, well, my cousin, who's also in the band with me, uh, Brian, is from Kentucky, and I met Howie, AJ, and Nick, and started singing with them because I was trying to make some extra money one night. Did an odd job. 
it wasn't a hit or anything like that, but <laughs> that sounded like, never mind. Yeah, I didn't get that one. <laughs> but, um, American try, stuff. Yeah, American stuff, American humor. Yeah. I was trying to make some extra money. A girl I started talking with said, my husband's worked for this guy that's starting his own label. He's got a singing group. They need another singer. And that's how that all came So to it pass. all came, and you could never have anticipated the, never. the enormous success of the Backstreet Boys. And million. are they, are they kaput now? Are they gone? Forever? No, no, we're, uh, we're, we talk to each other all the time. We're on great terms. We're what? all just taking a break. And Are we going to get more Backstreet Boys stuff? I, I think so, yeah. Good oh, news. Good. Thank you. Yeah. And Kevin, you're going to be staying with us all morning. Yeah, good. absolutely. Thank you, Kevin. You're For the moment. Kevin Richardson. Kevin Richardson, Kevin Richardson yeah. everybody. Now, from the show that just...